This is a review of my experience with the Snake Diet by Cole Robinson that I've been trying out different uh, routines from for the last maybe two months or so. And uh, I'm gonna tell you about my conclusions about it. So I've done a, started out with a five day snake juice fast, my first ever prolonged fast. And I chose five days because from my research, uh, I, I reached the conclusion that five days isn't gonna kill me in my current state, but it's gonna be a challenge. Um, and also, because I might have told this story before, but I met this guy, he, he gave me idea, uh, the, the idea of even fasting. Like um, he said, just by the way, and when I'm fasting, <laughs> and then I asked him, why do you fast? And he said, well, I think there are lots of health benefits, but also when uh, growing up, um, our family was poor and I didn't really have a choice uh, sometimes. And that uh, kind of blew my mind, realized that was never the case for me. If I was ever without food for longer than 24 hours, I was probably really sick or something. So I really wanted to, since I realized that it was going to be hard, but absolutely not impossible, um, I just wanted a challenge. I wanted to really break my former illusions about food. So I pulled that one off. Uh, and I, I found Cole Robinson on the first day. Um, and I found his snake juice. And it made sense to me to um, not drink only water, but a refill uh, on electrolytes, uh, salts, to minimize like um, uh, bad, bad effects, bad symptoms, I guess, of fasting. So I c couldn't find potassium chloride in the store. It's hard to find. Um, but so, so I bought these potassium uh, capsules uh, and used them with some pink salt for my snake juice. And it, it worked fine, but it was more like swallowing the potassium with water than drinking snake juice, really. But so the, the first three days, I, I thought I was going to have a harder time the first three days. Uh, I had actually decided to start on a Sunday, like my last day at uh, a hotel, so that I could have one huge breakfast uh, from the buffet before going on the fast. And uh, no, but actually, uh, it was day four and five that was really tough for me. Like um, in the evening, not very late, not very early, like at 5 p.m. or something, uh, I got these very, very strong, um, I would call it withdrawal systems, uh, uh, symptoms that I got them because uh, it was just, uh, I could feel, I'm, I'm not feeling physically uh, ill and I'm, um, y you know, uh, I'm not dying here, just have this urge to eat something. And those came, those attacks came uh, quite a few times on day four and five. But when I woke up on, uh, when uh, I just had a few hours left on day five, uh, everything was fine, you know, I took a walk, bought my food, took a sauna, and uh, yeah, broke it. And I broke it with, I had some lemon juice uh, like an hour before, then I broke it with some, I maybe I should have gone easier, I didn't know that much about fasting, but I had a kiwi and some kefir with uh, nuts, uh, chestnuts and blueberry, uh, blueberries and raspberries, and something else I don't really remember now, uh, but yeah. Um, but something you should know was that I didn't really know that much about uh, fasting at this point. So I did drink a lot of coffee and I used uh, tobacco, the Swedish tobacco, snooze, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe that could be fine, but I, I kind of used it a lot. So it was kind of a cheat in that way. Probably, uh, probably removed some uh, functions, uh, I guess, if the body is going to have to clean out the nicotine and caffeine all the time. Oh, and I'm gonna have to add, uh, squeeze this in somewhere, but I um, I did uh, work out on my five day snake juice fast, mo mostly for experimenting. I did one heavy compound every day, um, every fasted day or so to say. Uh, like I tried bench press, uh, the squat, the deadlift and the shoulder press. I think I tried them all. And then just, uh, I went heavy but just a little lighter than usually or a little short of the reps that I usually go for. And I think I still, could, uh, I was close to overdoing it, but it worked out fine. It was cool. I was, uh, you'd never think that you're that strong 
uh, doing deadlifts on like ninety uh, percent of what I usually do, uh, ninety six hours fasted, right? That's kind of incredible. Uh, not something you uh, believe, but I think the way you want to work out on a prolonged fast is uh, just that way. Um, go heavy. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, lighter than usual and then if you can do six reps normally go, go for three or four just stimulate your nervous system so that uh, you know yeah 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 you want attention yeah but just stimulate your nervous system so that you know you send a signal to your body that um, uh, these muscles we need them don't break them down but don't break them down uh, yourself because uh, you have no fuel uh, nor no stones to build them with then after that i started uh, doing omad one meal a day and uh, i did it for no other re reason than trying out really but then i heard uh, from cole that um, the metabolism is a uh, lot um, faster in the morning so you get more bang for your buck uh, so to say, when you eat in the morning. So I tried eating my what was supposed to be maintenance or above, uh, according to calculators, uh, in the morning. Uh, may maybe not in one meal every time, but maybe in a four-hour window or something. Uh, but sometimes everything at once. And uh, I had a hard time uh, in the beginning. It's a little bit too much. Uh, if I have two thirds and wait for a couple of hours and have the last third, it's fine for me. But it's 3000 calories or more uh, that I need. So it's tough. Anyways, uh, I found though that even though it's tough to eat, uh, it gives incredible results in the gym. Like you have intensity uh, like crazy, like <laughs> uh, with all that food to fuel you through your workout. And yeah, it must be true. It must be true this with the metabolism because uh, I kept losing weight after this uh, prolonged fast, you know, uh, um, uh, evened out at maybe a couple of kilos or a little less uh, cut. And, and that's nice at a decently low uh, body fat. Uh, but um, then doing this, I cut uh, almost two kilos more. So that was pretty insane. Um, did not expect that. I, I mean, I ate uh, mostly in the morning, very, very rarely uh, went outside of that eating routine. Um, but I ate so much, so much like bacon and eggs and meats and fish and mozzarella, avocados, um, lots of greens, uh, nuts, uh, dairy products. That, that's the things I eat. Uh, I ate so much of it still, still kept uh, losing weight while cutting. So I really like the OMAD in the morning for uh, uh, maintaining or even gaining muscle. I gained some muscle d d doing that um, and cutting fat at the same time. Really recommend it. If you go on your maintenance calories uh, according to a calculator that assumes that you eat through uh, the whole day and do it in the morning, you I can I mean, I can't guarantee it, but my conclusion is that you will uh, end up cutting fat and at least maintaining muscle, likely even burning more. So then we have the 36 to 48 hour snake juice fast and I came up with a scheme by myself because it just fits me better some, sometimes not to go the full uh, 48 but still two nights, you know, two nights uh, sleep on the fast. And I like this for when you do, do OMAD or maybe two mad that I'm going to tell you about. It's the scheme I think I'm going to go for. Uh, uh, if you want to do one prolonged fast, because you don't really get the full effect of a prolonged fast uh, from one OMAD. It, it, I guess it's better than eating through the whole day, but uh, OMAD is still still not really <coughs> a prolonged fast. It, it's um, not even one day, you know. Uh, so uh, just like those, uh, to throw in those. Uh, for, for me, uh, it's hard when you get too lean, uh, because... Uh, yeah, you have to eat a lot the day before to manage this uh, without any problems. And it's hard to do on one meal. So, you know, you're going to have to expect to um, make some wiggle room, you know, uh, so you can uh, go through with it. Uh, no, but I like it. it, it you know, you do it once per week optimally, but it's been hard for me. I maybe done it once per 10 days or so. And yeah, it builds discipline to just say every once in a while, you know what, here comes at least one full day of not eating uh, or one and a half day, you know, because of the sleep. 
uh, at least one and a half days, uh, maybe two days of not eating just to show it you can, but you also get some nice uh, health benefits from that. What I do like is that you can still get some workouts in. It's good to time these with uh, rest days, but you can still, if you start out with a huge breakfast on the morning, maybe even bigger if you uh, want to make sure you have fuel for the next day, then you can go heavy on that day. Uh, when you're still starting the fast and then on the next day you might not want to you know break down muscles doing heavy squats or something but you can go for uh, lighter exercises and uh, more metabolic stress like doing face pulls and uh, lateral races and uh, uh, whatever it flies uh, easier um, easier exercises so th that's what i like with the shorter ones that you can still get the nice fasting benefit but you will be able to work out if you really want to so uh, finally i did a three-day dry fast uh, a hard dry fast so no food no water uh, like drinking and no water contact so no showers or no washing the hands yeah it was a special thing i mean i did it a lot just to try it out. I didn't really feel like I needed it for any specific health reason. Should put in a disclaimer here that dry fasting is some pretty hardcore stuff. So, you know, do it at your own discretion. Um, read up on it before like I did. And, you know, be honest with yourself all the time uh, during. If you feel thirsty, that's normal, right? If you feel like you're going to die, that's not normal. Uh, so, just be honest, uh, use yourself as a measuring tool uh, for how you're feeling. You know, so what did I get out of this? I mean, first of all, this was even, even more than my first five day snake juice fast. This just broke my illusions of, I, I always thought, just months ago, I thought that you were dying after three days of no water and I was fine. I was fine. I had a little dry mouth, was a little, you know, manic in a special state. Because I guess um, you, you get so sensitive to your re reward system uh, when you re uh, remove such a common reward. But also, I removed snooze, uh, the tobacco that you put under the lip and coffee for all these days. And that was actually worse for me than um, uh, refraining from eating and drinking. And uh, I said in my posts uh, online that I did it to like quit. Uh, these things like that was never honestly my intention i just know that i can't say i do it to cut down you know but that was my intention all the time and i feel like i have a, such a nice uh, re uh, good relationship to these things now because i preach a lot that no addictions but you know uh, enjoy yourself every once in a while but you aren't enjoying yourself if you're addicted to something and need it so now I would say I'm still, especially to snooze, still addict, addicted, but the coffee, I don't crave as much at all. The snooze, if I run out of it, like I used to, uh, you know, go to the store immediately and now I'll just go, eh, I'll buy some new tomorrow. So I, I achieved my goal there uh, with a detox. Oh, the, the best feeling ever was jumping into the ocean. I, I said, yeah, or the sea, I said in the video that it was six degrees because that's, that's what I got when I Googled it, but... Um, might have been a little bit hotter but still cold i think 10 degrees or so but yeah well, incredible feeling like i never swam that fast in my life i've never been a good swimmer but i was so effective <laughs> going up and then i was cold for a bit and then my skin just sucked it all up and i remember hearing cole say that uh, yeah you become like kind of a sponge when when you're um yeah, when you're dry fasting, hard dry fasting. Great feeling, very rejuvenating. And yeah, I just had this rush going for days. I had so much energy and was so grateful for everything. Got so much work done. <laughs> and then came the crash. Uh, like four days, I had high energy and then came the crash. I probably worked out a bit too hard uh, in the gym. I tried to take it easy, easier than normal, but still... I, my shoulder kind of hurt. I would guess that would be from being a bit uh, dehydrated and then pushing it a bit too far. So I needed to take a couple of uh, rest, rest days. Uh, can't remember. Uh, like I usually work out, I would guess six uh, times per week with a forced rest day some, sometimes. Now I just felt like it and I felt good. And needless to say, I mean, on a dry fast, a hard dry fast, you don't work out, okay? You can do light activity, like I did some saunas 
because I'm crazy like that. But I, you know, I I trust my ability to uh, sense how my body is doing and make the good decision. But um, exercise, like I tried pull-ups once, did not go to failure. I tried dips once, did not go to failure. Uh, I did some walking around the island. Uh, I, I was at an island when I did a three-day dry fast. Uh, so no, but if you're not an experienced faster or, you know, I wouldn't recommend working out. Light activity is fine. No working out on the dry fast. We, uh, uh, it's um, enough of a workout or a, of a taxation on your body just to be without water for that long, okay? So take it easy. Oh, and by the way, that thumbnail is uh, before and after my dry fast, like one day before and then like five days after when I've had time to stabilize. And I ended up losing about five pounds. So that pr that's pretty impressive. Now I think I'm at maybe seven, eight percent body fat or so. So yeah, but I guess people would like to know that so so yeah that's kind of my review i i like the snake diet um it um it's very special uh, it's not mainstream at all but there's a reason people like come to cole who's so controversial and uh, harsh speaking uh like um yeah, uh, he, um, th th that's the thing for me. I never cared about those things. And he says, hey, fatty, <laughs> all the time. But I never was fat watching his, his videos. Uh, and I had a hard time uh, reaching out to him, getting his attention, because because he kind of thought, you're already lean, why should I talk to you? But I've been talking to him a bit, and he's a cool guy. He, um, he he's My conclusion is that he is absolutely sincere and on a mission to make people healthy, um, and um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's it's just an awesome guy. He's really found something here. It's kind of very special, very special, very not mainstream. But I mean, just try it. And yeah, I can um, round off with my conclusions. Like uh, these things were basically directly inspired by Cole. But then I've come up with how will I work with a snake diet in my philosophy in my how I how I do things and I think for me uh, OMAD is a little when possible it's cool to get everything in in one meal but I'm gonna do too mad I'm gonna take advantage of this the metabolism being faster and the start at the start of the day because many intermittent fasters they skip breakfast but I would do the other way around like I will have a big breakfast like two-thirds of my daily calorie intake and then I'll maybe work out in between there probably, uh, and then I have lunch basically. So so maybe an eating window uh, on one one hour if it's OMAD to six hours basically at the beginning of the day, and then throw in a 36 to 48 hour fast every once in a while. And before one of that, you can always I think tweak the pattern pattern a little bit and push some more calories in so you if you're lean as me and you need that fuel because yeah you get a hard time sleeping and stuff when you're too lean and fast or that, that that's that's something to be prepared for by the way if you're you are fit and very active and lean uh, even 48 start becoming tough so yeah in conclusion uh, you can say that all of these fasts are good for the general health benefits fits <laughs> that fasting brings like um, Autophagy uh, supposed it, it said that uh, fasting uh, increases the effect uh, the, the, the process called autophagy where, where the body rinses out like an unnecessary like dead cells if you like cancerous cells uh, also like the growth hormone growth hormone increases by several hundred percent only after 48 hours so you using fasting correctly can make you more anabolic actually it uh, resets your immune system so you like literally get a new immune system i i read an uh, article about that if i found find it i'll link it down below uh, it removes your addictions uh, food is an addiction today um like people uh, even if you don't believe in prolonged fasting all the time you got to realize that people eat so much everything is centered around food everything social uh, at work the schedule is uh, centered around who takes lunch when uh, and so on and so i can go on so the fasting lifestyle the snake uh, diet lifestyle i totally recommend then but it's up to you you heard my what i liked about the different fasts uh, 
uh, someone fatter than me could do like 72s uh, like back to back with a small refit in between we can talk about uh, if you want to know more about um, other fasting uh, things that I'm necessarily not uh, gonna do uh, let me know I can at the moment um, I, I focused on telling you my own experiences so yeah please let me know if there's anything uh, else like that oh and also remember like be smart about this if you're really 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 thin or lean you don't need to fast for a long time or if you feel like you need to for some medical reason you should eat a lot before that like because some people they get afraid that uh, talking about fasting is gonna uh, give people eating disorders and you know I, I respect that uh, but at the same time, people do have eating disorders already. When they eat too much, they eat not good food and um, they eat too often. They're addicted to getting to eat. Um, uh, diabetes type 2 is basically an eating disorder. Uh, so, yeah, you just want to say that, you know, be smart about it. Uh, like, don't starve yourself <laughs> if... Uh, if you don't have like body fat is food okay it's literally food uh, if you don't have any body fat you don't have any food to uh, eat from while fasting okay and I think that's it that's my experiences if you would like anything more specific about fasting like now I just tell you my my experience with it and the benefits that I could see but there are also some you know scientific benefits do you want me to go more into that because um, yeah, I could do that, but I like it a lot to uh, talk from my own experience. The, like that way you get very, I'm the study, so to say. I'm the science for you. So, yeah. But Snake Diet, Carl Robinson, uh, awesome man, awesome thing he did uh, discovering this and uh, going first, trying every hard fasting routine first. And yeah. So let me know uh, in the comments if there's anything else about fasting you'd like to know. Uh, and um, yeah, subscribe and like and recommend me to friends if you like what you see. All right, take care.